Analysis, Aerovironment plays catch up with new switchblade types. After falling behind several new competitors, pioneering loitering munition manufacturer Aerovironment is working on a bigger switchblade variant, as well as several new uses for its legacy weapon. Additionally, the company believes it is close to receiving U.S. State Department approval for a license to export its loitering munition, says Aerovironment Chief Executive Officer Wahid Nawabi during a 3 December earnings call. Aerovironment has not developed new applications for its switchblade despite being one of the first manufacturers to develop a loitering munition. It has been unable to sell its exploding drone outside the USA due to a lack of an export license from the US government. That has allowed competitors, notably Israeli companies like Helbert Systems, Israel Aerospace Industries, Rafael Advanced Defense Systems and Uvision, to fill the void. Aerovironment Switchblade Aerovironment Switchblade is a canister-launched, electric motor-powered unmanned air vehicle, UAV that carries a grenade-sized explosive intended to kill individual soldiers. The suicide drone, as some call it, has been used extensively by U.S. Special Operations troops against insurgents and suspected terrorists in the Middle East. However, since the switchblade was unveiled in 2012, other companies have unveiled their own loitering munitions with longer ranges and larger explosives. Some of those larger variants are capable of taking out tanks by dive-bombing the soft armor on the vehicle's turrets. Aerovironment is now working on several new applications for its switchblade. We've been working actively with a funded customer for some time now to develop a much larger variant of our existing switchblade, Nawabi says. This larger variant goes a lot further in terms of flight endurance, and it also carries a much larger mission effect and payload. The ability to carry a larger explosive could make the switchblade effective against armored targets, such as tanks or personnel carriers. Aerovironment sees larger variants as driving revenue growth. What it does is essentially opens up a much larger market opportunity for us, Nawabi says. We are not in a position to be able to disclose the specific timing of when we're going to be launching that and releasing it to the market, but we're making great progress. Nawabi says Aerovironment is also closely watching the U.S. Air Force's Golden Horde program. That initiative aims to link various types of precision weapons, including glide bombs, loitering munitions and cruise missiles, into an autonomous swarm that could overwhelm ground targets. I am of the belief, and so is our team, that our small, UAV, is fairly well positioned for those types of applications, and mission effects, and mission capabilities, he says. Switchblade and Air for more on this story, visit the news article link.